Welcome back Pez Collectors! Today's video is going to be all about die cut Pez and specifically the ones here with the die cuts in the stem and of course I can't leave out the die cut faces either so there's going to be some of both in this video and I recently have got a couple of these so I was like I need to make a die cut Pez video because some of these are some of my favorites that I have in my collection as far as vintage Pez go and Roxy why are you licking me? I got my little buddy Roxy here in case you see anything moving around. <laughs> What's going on, babe? Huh? There's quite a few of them here in front of me, so let's get started. I'm actually starting with one that I do not have. So all these die cut pads, they started being released back in 1960. And a specific one from 1960 that I want to share with you is the Arithmetic Pest Dispenser. Now I don't have one of these in my collection. They are more rare. And according to Sean Peterson's book, Pez from Austrian Invention to American Icon book, which is a must read if you do not have that in your collection. I'll put a link down below in the description in case you want to buy that book. You should buy it and read it if you're into Pez collecting. It's got a lot of Pez history and a lot of really good Pez details in general about everything Pez. Like so much. It's a really great book. But in that book he talks about how the arithmetic Pez wasn't known to collectors back in like before the 1990s, which seems weird because not until the 1990s did some of these surface into collectors' hands. But it is kind of funny, when I was doing my research for this video today, John Lespina, he just posted some regulars for sale. And in that group of regulars for sale, he has some arithmetic pads that he's selling. And I was like, wow, that's really cool because these are pretty rare to see for sale. And I don't know what happened like in the 90s. Maybe someone discovered like a box full of these arithmetic pads somewhere. That's just like dreams I think of. like. I don't know, someone working at Pez found a box in the warehouse or maybe someone bought a whole bunch of them back in the 1960s and they saved them up and then they, you know, surfaced into the collector's hands. So, I don't know. Only crazy stories that you can imagine in your head <laughs> that kind of make collecting these more fun. But there are two different types of these arithmetic Pez. They're different color variations, but there's ones that come with keychains. And then there's ones without the keychains, but they both have the die cut holes in the side. And then on the sleeve, there's a sticker with some numbers. So you can use it as a slide rule. I can only imagine that kids would take these to school and then the teachers would take them. So maybe they didn't go over very well back in the 1960s. <laughs> but I think they're pretty fun. The arithmetic pads are not cheap. I mean, that's probably one of the main reasons I do not have one besides like being able to find them for sale because, you know, they're not going to find any of them below $600. Like they can go from like 600, you know, to 3000 or so. But I did find this really nice picture of some arithmetic Pez from Pez.com and there's a little insert there that shows a little kid using the arithmetic Pez in his classroom. So it does math. It's pretty fun. From that picture you can see that it comes in blue and red. I've seen it in yellows and browns as well. So it comes in a variety of different colors. And then moving up to 1961 and these are the die cut Pez that I really like. So the arithmetic one is cool and that goes in the die cut classification because it has the little squares die cut on the stem which was a new thing back then. But in 1961 they started making ones with the character heads on them because I don't know anything with the character heads. I like those a lot better than just the regulars, so here you go. The first one I want to share with you is the Bozo the Clown. On the side there you see Bozo and Butch and they're die cut in the stem and just for an example if you push up the sleeve here you can see how the color back there goes away because you're getting the color behind there from this red sleeve. That cut just means that it's cut out. Now this looks so cool. So this is Bozo. The next one I want to share with you is Easter Bunny C. And oh, nothing on that side, just a regular Pez side. This side has the die cut. So it's a bunny with a little paintbrush. And it looks like it's painting the eggs. I don't know, it's super cute. I showed this before in my Easter Bunny video. So if you haven't checked out that Easter Bunny Pez video, you should check it out. I'll link it down below in the description to help you out. I think this one's really cool. I was super excited. I think Greg bought me this one for Christmas a couple years ago now, so I was pretty excited to get that one. The next one here is Casper, 
and regular Pez side there. And check it out, Casper has the die cuts to him. This one's pretty cool too because it says Casper here on the side and it's raised. That's another whole category of Pez I could show you with like the raised designs on the side of the stems, but for today it's just die cut. And you can see that the sleeve on this one, there you go, it's red. And this Casper is white. And since Casper is one of Greg's, my husband's favorite Pez, we have a lot and they sit all behind me on this one row here, <laughs> if you've never noticed. Or if you watch our live streams with us, it seems like it's not a Pez live stream if Greg doesn't open a box with the Casper in it. He did get one of these last week. <laughs> There's also this Casper and it has a white head and an off-white stem. And it has the red sleeve, same die cut design though. I should mention that all these from Bozo and Up are in all 1961. Another Casper, this one has a light blue stem with the red sleeve on the inside. Same die cut design. This is the one he just got and I always thought that this next one I'm going to show you is probably the hardest to find Casper but he had a really hard time finding this one in such great condition that it is in. So here you go, this one's all white. This is one I've had in my collection. This is my first die cut Pez probably. I think Greg got it for me for Christmas a long time ago before we were even married. And it has the black sleeve on the inside. Super nice. So I used to always think that this was probably the hardest to find Casper, but apparently it turns out that this blue one with the red sleeve on the inside, it's probably just as hard to find as this black sleeve one. So I don't know. Now I'm re-questioning everything. <laughs> Moving on to some Disney Pez. And here you go, it looks just like a normal Donald Duck if you saw it from this side. But this side it has Huey, Dewey, and Louie on it. And this one's really nice. It has a yellow sleeve on the inside that you can see the die cut color coming through. And here's a Mickey Mouse one. Oh, it looks regular. Is it regular? Nope. <laughs> it's got the die cut Minnie Mouse on the side. This one's super cool. And this one also has the die cut Mickey Mouse face. And I'm going to show you just another die cut Mickey Mouse face here in a second. So you can also have the faces that have the die cut in the plastic as well. In these little boxes I do have the Donald Duck die cut in the cello still. It has the candy packs there. And it has a little insert. I really do like this one, but you can't tell if it's die cut just by looking at it in the cello here. But if you ever were to find cellos, you can just look at the bottom and you'll see that the sleeve is yellow on there. So you know that that for sure is a die cut. I also have this Mickey Mouse one. It has the same little insert there. And on the bottom there, you can see that it has a red sleeve right there. So if you find them in the cellos like this and you flip them over, you look at the bottom, and that's how you'll know that it's an actual die cut pest because you can't see the die cut on this side because the die cut sits against the little insert. And it's kind of weird that Pez even packaged them like that because it seems like you're more likely to buy it if you see the die cut on the sleeve. I don't know. But I did buy these on eBay. I've had these for quite some time. <laughs> I bought them on eBay from someone that was selling some of these. So I thought these were really cool that I had these in my collection. Okay, wait, I'm gonna move these down here so I do not hit them. I should mention that this die cut one here also comes with the painted face. So there's one with the die cut and there's also one that has a painted on face. It's like the same coloring. It looks like a Mickey face. It's just painted on instead of the die cut. So those are a couple of different variations you can look for. I do not have that one, but maybe I need to buy one because I really like vintage Disney Pez a lot. Okay, moving on to some just die cut faces here. This Mickey Mouse has a die cut face. See how the stem is not they cut anymore, just the face. And it looks really similar to this one here with the die cut on the stem. It is a little bit lighter colored face. I guess that's a variation. And I do have another one that has a slightly different pink color as well. So no, I'm not gonna show it because I'm just showing you like a, a brief overview of some of these different ones you can look for. Not going too in depth on different variations on these, but you know, there might be some you know, color variations on the face on that one that you can look for. And then moving up to 1967, we got this dopey Pez dispenser, and he's part of one of the Snow White Seven Dwarves. <laughs> this one's really cool. It has a die cut face, nothing on the stem. 
but I think this one's really cool because you can actually like see through it. The eyes are so die cut. You can see through to the back there. Like you can see me through those holes there. <laughs> I think this one's really cool. And then in 1981 we got this pumpkin Apez and everyone calls this the die cut face. The die cut is a little bit different on this. It's like a little bit thicker plastic than you would see like the stem and the face on these Mickey or Dopey. But I still would say this is die cut. This one's kind of like they cut out around the face and then they insert a little other die cut piece of plastic in there. But you'll hear people refer to these as die cut pumpkins along with just a pumpkin A. I have a ton of these pumpkins if you want to check out my pumpkin pez video that I released. I think it was last, not this Halloween, but the one before that. I made a huge pumpkin Pez video. I'll link it down below in the description in case you want to check it out. Or you can just search pumpkin Pez. My channel here should come up. But uh... <laughs> I think this will give you a good idea of some die cut Pez to look for if you want to add some to your collection. I should have lined them up like this. There we go. <laughs> if you have any of these die cut pads in your collection or are you wanting to add any to your collection, I'd love to hear from you. Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to continue this conversation there. But I do like this a lot. It's taken a long time to find all these and add them to the collection. Pretty happy to have these. I have been collecting for over 25 years in case you are new here. So it's not like, uh, you know, we just go out and buy these overnight. It takes quite a long time to add pads to your collection. Especially if you have a budget or just, you know, to look for them for sale because some of them are more rare than others. I think these are really nice. Hopefully you enjoyed the die cut pets video today and December is coming up. December 1st is Friday so if you didn't check out my last video with the Hanukkah Pez and my what's next, you might want to go check out that video because it's going to tell you what's coming up for my December videos which I think is going to be a lot of fun here on the channel. I can't wait to make some more Pez videos so I'm hoping to have a video on December 1st. So there's gonna be more videos in December, as long as it goes good. <laughs> so I guess that's it for this video. As always, thanks for watching. If you want to talk to me outside of the videos, go follow me on Instagram, Facebook, or TikTok. I'm Erin Clips Pez on all those. Say hey, send me a message, or even just, you know, send me some pictures of what you bought this week. I'd love to see your new Pez. So as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see ya hopefully Friday. <laughs> if not, I'll see you for the live stream on Saturday. Bye! Roxy's in my lap. <laughs> she fell asleep. Oh, rocks, rocks. I write to you in poetry with words left on the shelf. Full of dust, you'll